That saw exactly the whole Trump move. Yeah. A bundle of promises. And then when your grandpa when I was like, oh, you remember them things that I said I can do? I well, just scratch that for no we could just we can do something completely different. <laughs> play my ear. And do you think about Trump, right? That whole situation. I felt like he just ran for president because Obama tell he he can't make it. Yeah. Because you remember Obama did see. Yeah. I was like, you know what I mean? So a competition of egos. That's how we feel about it. Honest mm-hmm. to God. He was like, oh, I can take that. I can take that. And then he might come back our window. And you know what I mean? I feel for Obama to be like. And I think it. you feel his purpose work too then. Yeah. That everything that Obama put out there, sanctioned the to do. Mm-hmm. Like be- this man now. Right. That he reinstated. Mm-hmm. So there's a band before. Tell them about the band. I know what you're talking about. I don't follow. Because international news. Reinstate would suggest that it the day before. Mm-hmm. Re. Right? So that means it was a band before on transgenders from being able to serve in the military. Mm-hmm. Um, and now, when Obama got into power. He lifted that band. Yeah. So transgenders. He was working concerned. on lifting it. Mm-hmm. Certain things started to relax and stuff. I don't know if it had fully, fully, fully gone through. And now Trump is back in power. No, not back. No, Trump is in power. He is now reversing mm-hmm. all the work that Obama would have done to lift the ban. And the ban back on again. Wow. So obviously the people in the uproar. Right. Because transgender rights and, you know, the, 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 the whole... Mm-hmm. We were right off of Pride as well, too. Right. Just a couple months ago, we were just celebrating, mm-hmm. you know, Pride and mm-hmm. everything like that and the achievements and the milestones. It's 2017. Everybody just feeling good that we're having these conversations that lead to progression mm-hmm. in these areas. Mm-hmm. And now... Backpedal real fast. <laughs> just backpedal <laughs> real fast. <laughs> and you know how America's got really embarrassed real quick because they yeah. like to seem as the forward-thinking ones mm-hmm. and the ones that, you know, mm-hmm. all elevated and liberated and ting and ting and ting, so... It's like, shoot, look at we hand on the worldwide. Looking like an idiot. Because of this man. <laughs> yes, that's how I feel about America. <laughs> because of this man. America electing Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. I remember, you know, hearing about Clinton and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, okay, girl, I went to sleep. Because I knew the elections was happening, but I was too tired. I went to sleep. <laughs> I, I listen, I have the same. I went to sleep, really taking that clip. Look at the bag, you know? I went to sleep and I wake up. It was like BuzzFeed or saying, like, know this. President, and I was like, man, this is a joke. This has to be a joke. I could not believe that America elected Donald Trump. I was like, man, look, you know when he started to learn about that old behavior? Well, stop, man. Stop. All right, you met your point. You met your point. Stop. And the realist people started dropping out, and he's an old forerunner. I was like, this man, are you serious? I was like, America ain't gonna let it happen. No, this is a joke, man. No. No, not Donald. So we can't see the man as the president. I was like, <laughs> yeah. America can't say anything to anyone anymore. No. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. Y'all like, why would they not want to talk about real silly on the world? When they don't want to talk about hash. Real, real silly on the world. Hash. Fact. You see Spicer? Quick too. Sean Spicer. I ain't know who's that. He's the one that was hiding in the bush. <laughs> Remember that meme? No. Everybody know that meme. With Sean Spicer. That was his, uh, that was his um, a secretary, assistant. Press, press secretary. Right. He was hiding in the bush. You, because he get ambushed by, by, by the reporters okay. and the press and stuff uh-huh. like that. And you can answer the questions aptly. Mm-hmm. And the man just got nervous. I went and hid in the bush. He was actually hiding in the bush. Can we find that for sure? <laughs> <laughs> but like, okay, what is so wrong? What is the issue with trans transgender people serving in the army? What's the issue? What could go wrong there? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Why would it need to have a ban on it in the first place? Or why would it need to? You know, why would you want to reinstate or reinforce this ban? What is the issue with trans people? Serving in the army. What was the worst that can happen? Does it make them less physically apt? No. Um, any psychological or emotional issues or anything like that? No. Keisha has a point that she would like to make. Keisha? I could tell you what it is. They're, they're too special. They're too special. They're, they're required to... It's, it's such a too, too new a thing. 
So like they want everything, like it's expensive for their medication. Their right. Let me get to it. Oh. Are you making the point that you want making not sure? Always fully. I mean, it's a confusing thing. So they're not always. Um, I will say that they're too special. Medically, I'm. I think ready for like something right. like that. That's why I was asking you know, like psychological like issues. Yeah. Anything like that. I don't think they should serve in the military either. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Kind of on that point. This is it for me, and I am neither here or it's there like, about you it. You are serving with them, like you have to like trust this person with your life, and they don't even know. Like, I don't know. I don't know if they know, but you're just confused by them. Morale, right? Also, right. You know, there's such a small community. What are they gonna do? Just right. to give. I don't know. I just, I just don't see why they should need to be there. Here is it for me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cause I, I am honestly. Not that passionate about the topic <laughs> as it pertains to uh -huh. to say psychologically mm -hmm. or morality or, and all of that. There, this mm -hmm. way it is because I, for the time I see a discussion come out, I know it is about numbers. Uh -huh. It's always about the bottom line, right? Numbers, mm -hmm. money. The impression that I am getting, and anybody can correct me, this is what this show is about. Nobody here ain't right or wrong. We're having a discussion about things. Don't correct me, though. Don't correct Sherry Ando. She may <laughs> or may not tell you about your mother. Anyhow, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sex change, surgery, medication, the whole process mm -hmm. is covered by the government if you sign up to be in the military. Okay. I think, allegedly. Mm -hmm. So, if you, Sharia, want to turn into a boy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um, I said that so loosely, and I feel like I just, it left my no, lips, no, and I just felt no, like no, I was no, going to get no, backlash, no, no, right? No, that's okay. By the politically correct people. But Fuck them. You, you and me. Mm -hmm. So, you want to have a sex change mm -hmm. into being a male, and... You ain't got no money. Mm -hmm. This is the fair, because I'm not squeamish. I can go many platforms and read. I ain't mm -hmm. want people like, because there's a racist platform where I ain't gonna read it. I like to actually hear what right. these people, I want to know what is your premise right. for mm -hmm. not wanting this. Right? Right. So I used to go in certain holes. I, might, I may or may not have ended up in Tommy Lauren page or whatever, but. <laughs> All right, anyway. I'm reading the comments and stuff like that. If it is covered by the government, all of the medication right. for transgenders will be covered. Right? Mm -hmm. You might have a whole warped reason for wanting to enter the military. Mm -hmm. True. So some people may think that these transgenders come in now to protect and serve mm -hmm. when they really just might be getting free. Yeah. Free medical care okay, for their whole sense. transition. That makes sense. <clears throat> their transition can be covered by the government. If that's the reason, I totally agree with the band then. But on the fact that Keisha made with the morality and the confusion, nah, nah, no. Because I, I don't like people thinking that because you're trans, you're gay, you're boy, whatever, that something is... You're not acting is, some way. That, right, something is psychologically wrong with you. I get that all the time. Right. Because I buy. So people like, you know... You can't you know, think it straight. Right, and so that, no. Mm -hmm. So on that, and then the morality and the people being confused, no, 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 no. Because gay people should be able to serve. Right? Straight people should be able to serve. Trans people should be able to serve on that basis. But I get you with the, the, the I get you with that. Yeah. With the, you know, if you're going into the thing that people could go into the cover the surgery. Okay, fair mm -hmm. enough. I can live with that. Mm -hmm. If that's the reason, I could definitely live with that band. <laughs> you be to tell me that I could gain a man and come back with a woman? Hey! Whatever to say. Hey! I get you. I get you. But free a cost? You be, you be the nations go pay for that for me? Outside of that, there's no other reason that they shouldn't be able to. You can't say that because they're trans that physically they can't do the job. Emotionally, they can't do the job. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. Morally, they can't do, do the job. Because our the LBTQ, whatever. <laughs> Community, we are, we are normal people. We is a bunch of them because the truth. No. We are normal LGBTQ. people. LGBTQ. Thank you. <laughs> and I get that that comment a lot. Like when I see, you know, like um, they have something about the ban, something the nation put up something about something or Barbara said there's something about you know 
um, same-sex marriage. Right, yeah, And the yeah. ignorance... It it really it is so offensive and there's this one particular um not one particular this is one person who always says or goes on the line that oh something psychological is a mental in- illness that's so disrespectful mm-hmm. for you to sit down and tell me that you know I'm mad though for real but don't tell me that because I'm bi or gay or whatever that something is mentally wrong with me that's so disrespectful I think so because they got some they got you know they could show examples of brilliant people who are gay mm-hmm. you know what I mean it's so. I'm some very crazy mad people who are heterosexual. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so me and them has got that argument real enough. Yeah. I think that that's the bottom line. Money. <laughs> that makes sense. I think that. That makes sense. Nobody ain't got time. <laughs> I will ban them like that too. Nobody ain't got no time and no money for all of that. I will ban them like that too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame them there. No, no, you no no boo-boo. <laughs> no, no, boo-boo kitty. <laughs> 